Well, everyone, as most of you know, Apple had their September event the other day, and they did something that I didn't think they were going to do, and this actually does change iPhones forever. Now, it's not just, you know, oh, making it a little bit faster or making it a little bit cooler looking or whatever. They actually removed the 64 gigabyte version of all of their iPhones at least for their base model, you know, main iPhones that they release. Now the iPhone SE 2 still comes in a different model and their iPhone 11s and iPhone 12s obviously, but going from now until probably the future, even when they drop another budget phone and all those other devices that they're going to release, there is no longer a 64 gigabyte model, at least for these top tier, you know, iPhone 13 mini, 13, 13 Pro, and 13 Pro Max. And that is a really cool feature that I'm really happy they did. And this isn't, I think, the best thing they dropped yesterday or the day before, but it is one of the more important things. We've kind of been seeing, to be completely honest, a rise in a lot of manufacturers kind of remove and reducing the amount of storage variants available. We noticed before with the iPhone 11s and the iPhone 12s, they started at 64 gigs and they ended off at 256. And when you look at Samsung and OnePlus, and I think some other manufacturers too, I think Pixel did this too for a little bit, they may drop like several different variants of different storage models you can choose from, but there may only be like two different models. You know, with the Pixel 4 even, there was like a 32 gig model and then like a 64 gig or it was like a 64 and 128 or something like that. And with Samsung's, a lot of them are only one storage model, but Apple has now given us more storage models to choose from, which is actually really impressive. With the iPhone 12s, we have a 128 gig model for the base model, the 256 gig model, mid-tier model, and then they added an additional 512 model for the iPhone 13s. With the iPhone 13 Pros, we now have a 128 gig base model, a 512 model, a 256 gig model as well, but also a one terabyte option as well. So we have so so much more of a range of different storage models we can choose from. Now it is obviously more expensive to pick up the more expensive iPhones, we all know this, but it's still a very impressive thing that Apple has been able to do to consistently just, I guess, expand the amount of availability that people can go ahead and pick their iPhones up. So now if you plan on keeping your iPhone for a long period of time, it may make sense to buy a one terabyte option than to buy, you know, a 128 gig option if you plan on keeping your iPhone for that much longer. And they also made it and and this kind of makes me think that next year we may possibly see the iPhone 14 Pro get 256 gigs for the base model. Now we don't know 100% fact, but Every time there's two storage models that are the same for the cheaper model and for the more expensive model, they typically kind of change those storage models out a little bit more. You know, we kind of saw this with the iPhone 11 Pro. Those ones started at 64 gigs. The 12 started at 128. And I do think the 14s could start at 256. So I'm super happy that they took out the 64 gigs and gave us the 128. And I'm actually really happy too that they gave us higher end storage models that we can choose from. So. The only thing left to do is give us micro SD card slot support, but I doubt they're going to do that. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.